I really don't get why everyone is crazy about the Longchamp Les Pliage bag. Hi and very welcome! My name is Mary, this is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. Today I have to make a confession. I don't like Longchamp. Shocker, I know. That's why I want to share my reasons therefore with you. To me it feels like Longchamp has been trending for at least 20 years. It feels like the brand has been around forever and especially their Les Pliage classic bag is haunting me since my puberty. I remember back in high school Every trendy popular girl had that bag in one color or another and of course I wanted to have one of these as well. I was never lacking anything that I actually needed but my parents absolutely were not having it buying their daughter branded stuff, some kind of branded nylon bag. Why should they spend that much money on such a bag if a backpack is better for my bag? So maybe because my parents were not into buying me branded stuff, that's why I can't get enough of it nowadays. In school, especially during puberty, I did not really feel like I did fit in. I definitely didn't feel like one of the cool girls. And even though quite early on I already had quite a big interest in fashion, I did not fully understand back then that you don't have to wear the branded stuff to have and live your own style and be into fashion. So that's my earliest memories and I'm really curious to know if already 20 years ago the Longchamp Les Pliage bag has been a thing in your country as well because to me it feels like the US just starts to get into these bags more recently, maybe the past five to maybe 10 years and to me it feels like they have been around forever but maybe that's just because I didn't consume YouTube back then in my teen days and now I'm all into that luxury handbag scene so that I get to see all of the content about it. So definitely let me know since when you have that brand and that bag shape on your radar. The Le Pliage bag, it never went away. When I started to go to college, I started to work my first job, earn my own first money as a waitress and from my very first salary I finally fulfilled myself a handbag dream and I bought, I think it is there in the background, my first ever Louis Vuitton speedy bag. I was over the moon and I felt so great accomplishing that and owning a Louis Vuitton bag but still the Le Pliage was everywhere. Especially the preppy business administration and law girlies. Yet again, the popular hip girls. They had still the Longchamp Le Pliage bag. And I know that now. Probably from a psychological standpoint of overcompensation, because I didn't have that bag back in my high school days, I started to look down at that bag. Uh, it's just nylon. Uh, everybody has one. Uh, it's been around for so long and it's so overdone. Of course, I never looked down on the ones carrying the bag. It's just I couldn't stand the bag itself. Still not very mature, I know that now. And I think it took quite some self-reflection to get to the root of my antipathy. The quite fun plot twist here. A lot of my Louis Vuitton bags that I own and love now are the basic bags other luxury lovers look down at. Which is totally fine for me because I grew up, I don't care anymore what anyone thinks about what kind of bag. Everyone has their own preferences and reasons for liking certain bags and not liking certain bags that much. So I seriously hope no one gets offended that 20 year old me really wasn't into that bag. And you might wonder if I hate that bag so much. Why keep I holding up one and why do I own one now? Well, years went by, I grew up a little bit, I started earning some more disposable income and one day I decided that I want to know what it's all about. What's that fuss? Why is this bag still around for decades and people are still going crazy over it? I bought myself that black one. I have to admit I did buy it pre-loved because I still <laughs> I couldn't get myself going into the Longchamp store and buying a brand new bag. One of the bags that I have been mad about for years and not mad in a good way, but mad in a mad, mad way. So I bought it at the flea market. When I got it, it was in very good condition. 
I used it quite a bit, but I still really don't love it. I personally don't really get why this is the bag everyone loves. I know the nylon is supposed to be practical, and it's supposed to be practical that you can fold it up and then it's a small bag and then when you unfold it, it's a big bag. But honestly, my bag has such bad marks in the nylon from where it was folded. And I think I have to film close-ups for you because the material is too dark to show up on camera. But the nylon got bubbly all over and I don't even know what I did to the bag to react that way. On top of that, I saw so many bags over the years where the corners rubbed open and I saw that bubbling thing over and over again, so it's not just me. I have to state here that I heard multiple times Longchamp has a great aftercare service and that you can bring your bags with rubbed open corners to them and they will fix it for free once. But since I bought the bag pre-loved, I don't think they would accept it. I don't have an invoice for that bag. And I'm quite sure there is nothing they can do about the bubbly nylon material. Because the only thing you could do is completely exchange it and just keep the leather parts. And I'm quite sure that's not within their warranty. I personally am not crazy about these short handles as well. Because especially if you have a large size of that bag and you pack it full, it gets so heavy, and then when you ugh, have such a hard time to get it over your shoulder, and if you're wearing a coat, you cannot even get it over your shoulder anymore at all. I don't get it. This bag is not for me. I know for sure that I will never love the classic Longchamp Les Pliages nylon bag with the short handles. That's why I personally was a little bit Surprised when in the recent months I started to notice a huge rise in popularity again, especially in the US. Hence why I asked you if you feel like it's a new thing with the trend yourself or if you feel like the bag has been around forever as well. And it felt like people all over the world were totally falling in love with the Longchamp Les Pliages bag again. But not just the Les Pliage tote. And now here comes the part where I have to apologize and where I have to eat my own words. I had to realize it's not that I don't like Longchamp, the brand overall. I just have a difficult relationship with their most classic, most popular bag, the Les Pliages. Probably rooted in the insecurity of my own puberty teenage years. But Longchamp has so many more great bags to offer, especially leather bags. Such great quality at a reasonable price point. They even leveled up the Le Pliage over the years. You might know that I got a Le Pliage filet net bag, which I enjoyed quite a lot, but then ended up selling. But that was not really the bag's fault. And there are ones with longer shoulder straps now, which I personally enjoy way more than the short handled one. Yet still, I'm not the biggest fan of the nylon on that bag. Never will. But the leather bags. Oh, I have to make another confession here. In the past months, I stumbled upon two amazingly beautiful Longchamp leather bags at different flea markets. And they had such great prices, I just had to buy them. And I want to share them with you now. I'm not sure, let's maybe start with the more surprising one. <laughs> it's the Les Pliages, but it's a full leather version. It has the short handles, which I still would prefer longer handles, but when you hear what I paid, well, there was no other thing to do than purchase. It is the classic shape. But it's completely leather. The handles, the body, everything about it. It has silver hardware. It is so well made. It is so durable. It is very versatile to wear. It is very carefree to wear. And I paid 7 euro. I paid 7 euro for that bag. And really, no one can blame me that I then went for another Le Pliage, especially when it's not the nylon material that gets bubbly and I'm not a fan of. It has a nylon interior, but it's the interior. And I keep repeating myself. 7 euro, this is crazy. <sighs> and it looks like brand new. And I love the leather on it. I think it gives the bag a completely different look and aesthetic, even though it's the same shape. It's so much more luxurious, if you want to say so, in the full leather version. So that's bag number one that made me fall quite a lot for Longchamp. And when I then found the other bag I'm going to show you right now, I just can't. Isn't this little lambskin baguette adorable? Ah, focus. I saw quite a similar style bag. Well, not even that similar, but lamp skin 
lamp leather is it lambskin how do you call it shearling shearling is the word i was searching for a shearling bag at the outlet and i liked the look but it was constructed as a tote bag and the price was still quite high even at the outlet and for a tote bag it was too small for me but this is a shoulder bag a small baguette shoulder bag so whew, <laughs> it doesn't have to be a big bag and this is so perfectly cute for winter time i'm <laughs> madly in love with that cutie it was a tad higher priced than the black incredible steel but i still think considering that a shearling bag at the outlet was still around 500 euro i paid 33 on that baguette it has a little front pocket here and a huge compartment and it's so soft and cuddly and cozy i didn't have a chance to wear it yet but i definitely want to do so this winter tonight we are going to a christmas market so maybe that's finally an occasion to wear it and i so definitely have to eat my words about longchamp i will never be a fan of their classic le pliage nylon totes but i'm definitely a fan of the leather bags now so this video definitely is rather a why I don't like the classic Longchamp Le Pliage nylon totes, but love their leather bags. Do you have any Longchamp bags in your collection? Definitely let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time and bye. I tried to be a little bit provoking with the title and how I started that video. I hope no one gets mad because of that, because in the end, it's a positive end and if you love the nylon totes, do so. I don't want to take them away from you. It's just, it's me. It's me and my puberty trauma, so don't worry. I did not even show you. Look at that. It's even lined in shearling. It's lined in shearling. It's so well made. I'm crazy about that bag. It has one pocket on the side and shearling all over. Madly in love. To get to the roof at, no, at a reasonable price point.